Okay, dokey. As a uh, live streaming, well, let's just check this is all working and stuff. But uh, should be live streaming. Jeevan Stanson, Stephen Johnson, welcome to Stephen Johnson's live stream. Um, of course, uh, with an IPA, not sponsored, but would love to be. But uh, basically, in this, I'm just going to trade. I've um, I've been thinking about how much I hate editing the weekly recaps. Thinking about how you guys have seen the same shit for three years and just thought, what would be better than giving you? And then I tried to record the trades live, but it was just like it was a hassle to do and it would slow the computer down and stuff. So why not just be with us and ask questions? I can invite you on here. Um, and you can see what I'm doing live. It's not fake in any way. If I blow up live, I blow up. But being, being profitable last year and being making about seven grand or six grand in the last six months, I, I feel confident enough to do this live. My eyes are a bit glazed because I'm back home for Christmas. And um, this is the first one, though, because I'm trading. But uh, I was back home for Christmas and, yeah, me and my dad and my brother went for curry last night. It was nuts. But uh, if you comment in, I'm just going to check this is all running fine. I'm just going to check the actual channel. Let's see if this is working. Wow, I'm live on the internet. Mental. This is fucking crazy. Oh, I'm live on the internet. Mental. Okay, three people are watching. Hello from New Zealand. Yo. Okay, three people are watching. Okay. Do you know how's it going, mate? How's it going? Uh, by the way, I'm, obviously I'm not just talking like this. I've also got uh, stocks to trade up. I can go full screen on this shit. Um, no, there's Dino Stevenson. Cool. So uh, I just wonder how I can check how many people are. I think I'll just stay on the... Ah, four people are watching. Abraham, hello from Kenya. Big fun, Stephen. Yeah, I wish I wasn't big. I wish I was small. But unfortunately, I'm a bit fat. But it's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm just going to go through some stocks and break them down. I don't want to miss anything. Uh, I've got my brokerage up. I've got a 1000 bucks on the account. I grew from 600 to 1000 Um. Well, let's go full screen, actually. Yeah, we're already full screen. I just need a look. So S-A-V-A, uh, this, this was a typical leg up. Uh, it's typically, I mean, it's, it's multi-year highs now. Um, this is like top, top gainer so far this morning. It's, uh, it's, it's obviously, it, this will probably have another leg up. It's probably going to blow shorts out of the water, or it might just consolidate around the sixes, but it already looks like it's, it's breaking out. I was actually short. Uh, this this day here yeah, because generally even even though it's multi year highs, once it's had like gone from the one seventies up to the fives, it needs to it needs to consolidate and have this red day before it has its next leg up. So now it looks like it's gonna have another couple of legs up. But like you could play this green day after the red day, but for me it's like I think shorts will get blown out of the water and this will go up in the sixes or sevens. That is just um so let's see what else is on the on the scans. Sabas up. T E N H, let's have a look at that. Stephen, your Excel filing is broken. Shit. That's all for you. Uh, dude, hit, hit us up on Twitter on uh, G O N K 87, and I'll figure that out. I haven't had any buys for a while, that's obviously the reason why. But uh, T E N H is capping up. It floats 28 million. Its volume is incredibly light. It normally trades relatively okay volume. Um, its sector is uh, like consumer packaging and goods. This, I mean, although it's been on a good run, it depends what the news is. Let's see why it's up. Can you make money with penny stocks? That's weird. So there's no news that I can see. Uh, let's see if anyone's saying anything on Twitter about it. But it's not coming through. Weird. But uh, T and H is something I just nah. It's, it looks like it trades light when you get these 
funny candlesticks. It's looking like it's turning light. By the way, this will be like recorded as an episode and stuff like that as well. Um, nothing else is really up enough to potentially be a short. I'm always looking just for shorts. DTSS. And I'm just going to tweet people and say live streaming on the channel now. Ah, look at DTSS. What a runner. But it's just, uh, guys, this isn't going to be super fun because we've got two hours to kill. Um, but one sec, guys, I just need to take a picture and tell some people I'm live streaming. If anyone wants to chat and stuff, if anyone wants to go online and chat and stuff, you're more than welcome to go online and chat. Take this picture up. Uh, Ten people, mod, mod. Yeah, I think that's that's probably the best uh, the best view. Uh, DTSS, nice run there, and it's gapping the day, but it's uh, it's too late volume. There's gonna be nothing here. BLIN is a, I mean the market's busy. I mean it's seven seven fifteen in the morning, so the market's pretty busy. Um, if any of the if any of the twelve of you guys want to chat and jump on, I can send you a link. In fact. Oh, I'm scared my mom's coming home and I'm drinking or something. Um Yeah, I don't I don't see anything from the day. I mean, let's just look at let's just see if anything was uh, going yesterday. Uh run. So yesterday there was let's just get rid of these. But ITRM, because some of these might be first red days to short. Oof, oof. Fourteen mil floor was in the eights. It's now in the threes. Doesn't hold its spikes well. It's already gapping down in the four seventies. Oof. How much did it go up from? From th from the twos to the sixes. That's a huge first red day potential. Um, uh, traded nine million, so it's got some volume. Let's see how it closed. Oof, oof, this is not not a bad potential short, really. Look at that. But look at the way it spiked in the morning. It's a bit scary. But it couldn't close near its highs. Now it's gapping down. ITRM's definitely something I would short like into a spike into the fives. But um, I mean, how much did it spike? It's spiking on like eleven thousand. That's even if that's a minute. That's that's weird to illiquid for me. It, it means that it can do surprising things and it can be easily manipulated. So that's that's a bit of a scary thing for me. I don't know if I don't know how much I, if I TRM or I particularly like. Uh, let us send you guys. Let us send you guys a link and maybe we can uh, we can chat. ITRM is a dead cap bounce from Friday. Yeah, well, I wouldn't call it a dead cap bounce because it like it really it, it, it like really ran again. It's not dead cap bounce is a is a smaller bounce and it's technically a little bit smaller, but in reality, it's like that's that's a big move with the most volume it's had. But it usually trades super light, which is a little bit scary for me. Um, see if I can invite some of you guys on here. For a chat, I want a private chat. Ugh. 
Sorry guys, we're a bit crap at this for now. I need to figure out how to invite people. I want to do a private chat, I want to do a public chat. Yeah, man that sucks. Let's try and figure it out. Anyway. Comments banners man. Yeah, if I could figure out how to invite one of you guys on, I would do it for sure. Ah, wait. Hey, anyway, let's keep on looking. ITRM was obviously the best one. Let's see what PT is. Go full screen. Oh, PT, I see this gap up a lot, and it's probably due with another red dip, but you just never know. Like, it's 50 50 whether these continue to drop or whether they bounce. So, like, nice run pre market. It's died ever since. I mean, if the volume stays light, the chances are it'll drop if the volume. I mean, ideally, PT is like, that's just, it's just not one that I would trade. Um, it's, the market's looking a bit dodgy. If we don't get anything today, then I think we're a bit stuck. I don't know, do you guys have anything? Ah, invite class. Hey guys, here's the link. If you want to jump on chat, here's the link. Nah, you guys can come on and we can chat. Like you can put your webcam on and I can put my webcam on. It'll be pretty cool. Oh wow, look at MREO. MREO for me is a, a decent short. It's already gapping down. It's that it's from the ones to the threes but the thing is though i've only got a thousand dollar account so i can't get leverage unless i'm trading over three so mr mreo is like top top watch for me so far let's put this one in um but like i want to I, I need it to get into the threes mreo gets into the threes then i'm like one one million percent um one million percent i'm there Heard a noise. Scotty Pips. It's funny. Not on yet. We'll see if he comes on. He needs to put his webcam on and sign in and stuff, I think. Let's keep on going through some stocks until we'll get there. Uh, MREO, like, for sure, for shizzle me, dizzle me, whizzle. Uh, um, and let's see if, M M yeah, it's got some volume. It's it's downtrend. MREO, I mean, like, for sure. Uh, it's, like, generally stocks. It might have one more green day. I mean, what was its news? What was it up? 26th of December. Let's have a look. Don't see any. Oh, there he is. Let's talk to Scotty. Scotty! Uh, I can't hear you very well. Are you still there? How's it going, bro? I don't think I can uh, hear you. Okay, he's gonna figure it. Scotty looks pretty excited. <laughs> hey, there you go. Hello? How's it going, bro? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, where you? Yeah, where you? good, good. <laughs> where you from, bro? um i i'm from england i was born in london but um i've been living in the canary islands for a very long time all right very nice in the grand canary yeah I, I invited you once a while ago on twitter <laughs> i don't know if you remember nah mate, no idea no idea but i like the idea of going to grand canary sounds good yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you've been following this stuff for a while then you've, you've obviously been following me channel and stuff yeah 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 i've 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 been trading since uh well like trading properly i would say since um uh, 
2018, since April. All right. Nice. And uh, in the beginning, I was just another sheep, just following alerts and, and whatnot. Was it for your and, uh, oh, yeah. I, I was in the Tim Sykes, um, what was it, the cheapest chat that he has. I don't know. Right, I, I don't know what it's called. Yeah, I was just following his alerts and just buying and, and well, trying to make money. And obviously, it didn't work. So um, yeah, then... Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. And then I, I found uh, another trader and he told me, why don't you get, um, why don't you get like a trade zero account? And then I started, I started to get into, into shorting and, uh, I start, I started to watch, uh, Gritani's DVD and, uh, and then things just started to click a little bit more and, uh, I'm slowly profitable. I'm not like, you know, making a ton of money yet, but you know, I'm, getting a lot better and and improving yeah man i mean sim like, i don't know how long i've been at it now it's like this must be three and a half four years or something i've been at it and it was only like this year that i had a profitable year thank god but i, I mean i think my second year was profitable then my third year wasn't and then my fourth i think this might be my fourth was so but man i had to scale my account right back to to like because my problem is discipline so i had to have a 600 account and just build uh-huh. it. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been following you. You've been doing pretty well, like especially the for like the second part of the year. Like I saw you, um, you basically made a bunch of money, and then you just withdrew it all, and then you made and you made it again. <laughs> Apart from yeah. your fuck up, your fuck up on, on, when you left and you went to Thailand, I think, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, <laughs> you, you probably follow. It. You probably follow. It. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah it's funny. I see all the views on the channel every day, but like you, you don't really understand what that it's actually real people watching and stuff. Uh-huh. But, um, yeah, man, like, I think I made, like, 6K in the last seven months, but it would have been, like, 10K had I not yeah. been fucking drunk in Thailand and I walked out and left it for two days and partied. <laughs> so that, that was, like, that was fuck. But uh, still, still good, though. But, like, if I've learned anything, the most important thing is, like, when there's not much popping and there's not much action in the market and there's not much to show, don't, don't force it because everyone's trying to get action. And then when you do get that runner, it blows up all the shorts. Like the best, the best time to short is when there's loads of action. Like now, there's a lot of action. Like if you check, um, like say you check the today's runners. Like there's nothing great now, but it's dead early in the morning. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's just go to like say what's popping with 150,000. Not even that. Let's just go 15,000. Yeah, like, like what I, what I've been doing a lot lately. Uh, I mean, th- what my favorite my favorite kind of setup is um, when you uh, when you short something that has a lot of volume on the daily, and you can just see like every time it spikes, it just fails. You yeah, know, like yeah. so I I, ca- I call it like a short into major daily resistance. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's like a yeah. thing. That's like a yeah. Thing. But um, but you mean there's high volume. It's high, super high volume on a on a previous day, right? Yeah, like if if you look, if you not not specially, not specifically like the previous day, but if you look at like for example, M M B O M B O T. Yeah, I know, I know exactly what you mean, and I do exactly the same. Yeah, thing, but but I'm yeah, M B L T. No, M B O T. N for November. Yeah, M yeah M bot. Oh, N bot. Oh, Embark. Yeah. yeah, let me just type it. Let me type it. No, no, I, you. I know Embark. Uh-huh. Yeah. So if you look at if you look at January from this year, and now you look at December, and you can just see it. It went all the way back to twenty, um, and then it just failed. So you yeah, know, yeah. yeah, it's just like you just have to wait. And if you if you're patient enough, then then you, you know you can make money in in this thing like if you see like if you see for example a stock that goes up and you look at the daily but you don't you don't see any like key levels with 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 uh with volume traded then i never touch them i only touch them like, basically the the daily dictates if i take a short or not yeah no for sure but the, the likes of nbot like what i love about this is like this this 20 million day this is 20 and it's i don't know what the float is but I, i'm guessing it's low if it's got this yeah direction. it's like but three yeah three million yeah, yeah. so that the whole float is underwater because there's 20 million shares of people from 12 to 20. exactly mm-hmm. float, so everyone's underwater so the next time there's bounces everyone's going to sell into the bounce so it's like yeah. a nice short little spike 
mm-hmm. I, would, I would say, especially like you can kind of see this maybe 14s, 14. But you just have to wait for a, a spike to fail or a double top into day. And I think this is a typical good short. Unless this is Yeah, exactly. Off. Mm-hmm. And then, and then also what sometimes what I like to do is like a like a dead cat bounce like I call it a short into supply like if you see something that that has like had a couple of days where it's traded major major volume and then it starts to fade and then all of a sudden you have like some uh, you uh, T plus two like the shorts cover and then it just spikes right into like the previous support which is now yeah, resistance yeah. so that's yeah I like that too I did we we trade exactly the same way. <laughs> that's yeah, I mean, cool. That's, that's exactly what that's exactly what I do as well. I just look for somewhere where a lot of people are stuck and they're gonna or yeah, or just the bounce where you know it's gonna come back down. The, yeah. the only the main one I do is I look for like gap bars. Mm-hmm. That that every time the spike they just fail. Or that where maybe you see a lot of people are trapped from the previous day, like biotechs particularly, biotechs that like say it's a twenty million float and it was in the tens and now it's in the ones and it's spiked. Yeah. Um, if the volume's not high enough, you know that those people who are in it more long term are going to sell at the open, and that's exactly. That's risky, but it's risky because shit can get manipulated and you can get blew up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, yeah basically, I think like if you just wait for like the backside, you're a lot safer. Like if you start short, if you start shorting something that's just popped up, then you, you then odds are you're you're gonna get squeezed, and you're not gonna be patient enough, or you're not gonna have enough capital to you know to to just keep on adding in yeah uh, yeah Scott, I, I agree but um the gambler inside um, <laughs> <laughs> it likes to catch them and you can catch them i mean even this this gap this gap is it's in Dux's dvd as a setup but I, I was doing it before he did it but you've got to be so careful yeah like if the volume is above five hundred thousand pre market you've got to like you, you've just got to not take it it's got to be very light volume and it's got to be a highish float uh exactly like if, if for example um if, if you look at the rad <clears throat> now rad it, you know in terms of fundamentals is a good company so i i wouldn't consider it like an a plus setup but basically the setup is what i would be looking for if it was a crap company also the, the daily is really overextended so it has a lot of you know potential to actually keep keep on on dropping but the fundamentals are pretty good but then technically as i said it's overextended so what i'll be looking for is like a a, a pop into like the 21 area yeah and then yeah no you you, you never know what's going to happen with this because these yeah. stocks like keep on going up 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 gradually it's like shorts yeah. are getting sucked in and suck it in and suck it in and suck it in. I saw this with I as well. If you remember I last year? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was kind of similar to this. We'll check it in a minute and see where it is. But like RAD, I totally agree with you. Like, I think like like if it double tops in the 2150s where well, all this like resistance is, mm-hmm. oh, that's now resistance. Like, for yeah. sure, I think RAD is a potential short. Take it like if it double tops in a day and comes back down and kind of fails, goes back down to the 18s, that's a couple of bucks. Um, so RAD is another. Mate, you're giving us loads of trade plans, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. I just, yeah, I, I just, <laughs> I, I just basically keep all like the charts up from from the previous like couple of days, and then see if there's any potential like setup. Um, and also, what I like about uh, what I like about our RAD is that um, if you look at the daily, like the last day, it traded like forty eight million. So there's probably like some people that are stuck in there that are you know they want to sell, and 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 if you add to that, if you look at the daily again, it had like what, how many days in a row green, and then like the last day is a red day, so people have a reason to to start yeah. selling a little bit. It's first red day, but if you just look at I there, that that stock went from three to thirty six. So like like never say never with all right already. No, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I know what you mean. Thirty as well. Yeah, and plus it, it, it probably has a, a couple of levels of support as well on the way down. Yeah, like, I mean, I was looking mm-hmm. at the for support. Like, you, you've got around the night, like, even if you look at just where it, where it, it last closed before the red day, like, the 1920s might be a level. But, um, yeah. but, but at the same time, you, you like, I don't think there's any offerings or if I just check if there's any offerings on the FTCs. No, I don't think there is because fundamentally it's it's like a proper company. I don't think it's like the, the typical um, penny stock. 
Yeah, so it's it's never going to like have some crazy red day. If anything, no. it, might, it might have another red day consolidate and push higher. With no, like you don't have a clue what's going to happen here. So yeah. like, yeah, I actually like shorten the double top, shorten into resistance at 21, because uh, 21 is a whole number, but it's also right into this level of support. If you yeah, see that. exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, it, it's something to short and if it doesn't work, you just have to cut it. And, so, and so I, you, yeah, go on. And I, I, th I also think it's more like a nail, a nail and bell. I don't think it's like a, an all day fader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. I, I mean, mm -hmm. I think, I think you're right. I think it'll, um, it'll spike up into the. I mean, uh, in, a, in a perfect <clears throat> world, it'll spike in the twenty one, and you can take the spike short, but you can take the double top. Yeah, and then uh, another one that you might want to look at is uh, S A V A, which is a. Uh, it's, I it's this day. yeah it's, it's about to put in another another high uh pm yeah, high yeah. that is yeah yeah it, this is a typical uh if you've seen tim gratani's vid, uh dvd right yeah yeah dude sav yeah i mean i was actually short into the double top on the on the first red day because i was like this is just overextended i shorted the double top in the fours and, and took back down to like the three somethings 380s and then I thought I'll leave it because this has got another like high and obviously it's putting in its second leg now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and what what I was saying earlier on, like if you look at the if you look at the daily, it doesn't really have another uh it doesn't really have overhead supply. So I yeah, would be waiting for the backside now again. Instead yeah, of you know gap Go on. No, no, yeah. I mean something went wrong this day. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I don't know how it went from the nines to the twos. I don't know if yeah, you yeah, yeah, but yeah. Since, but since it spikes and gives it all back, um, and then yeah, even like when it when it popped, yeah, when it got it like spiked and give it all back. Uh huh. So I don't know what's happened. That do you know what the news is that's made it go on such a run? I don't know. I, uh, to be honest, like I I look at the news, but I don't get obsessed with it because most of the stuff is just like trying to deceive you and just <laughs> bullshit so right. i i read it you know sometimes i read it because why did it spike but then half of like 90 percent of the news that comes out is all just bullshit anyway so <laughs> yeah but like sav yeah like i don't get it because it's like like I, I didn't i looked for news on yahoo finance on this and i looked on news on stocks of trade and i didn't see it anywhere i think the stock yeah because Mm -hmm. Because normally it plays like a really shit company when it, the way it doesn't hold its spikes and the way it has a green day than a red day. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now that it's in play, everyone's just playing it. But SAVA, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't be going after this today. No, I, I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like maybe, because um, if you look at the daily, I mean, it does have a, some levels where it's had a lot of, um, you know, uh, shares traded. But the day I was looking at, like the key day for me was on the, what day was it? On the 5th of, 5th, 10th of May? No, sorry. Um, uh, not, not May, is it? Uh, it's uh, October, 5th of October 2018. It has like 90, sorry, no, let me go back to yeah, the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now, is it the 3rd or the the big, the big share is the 3rd. Yeah, Wait, look at the 3rd, the 3rd, that's right, the 3rd. So... When it popped up to three, the first time it popped up to kind of like three, that's when I was short. And, yeah, and then um, you get short. And what happened? <laughs> you got here. Yeah, you got here. Yeah. Did you? No, no, no. I, I, yeah. I, 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 I made, I made some money because I shorted it on, on, like, on the, on the sixth of December. But then, ah, <clears throat> uh, that's oh. on the sixth of December. Yeah. Ah. The the six. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I always I always get confused because like because my my uh, my platform has like the the US dates and you know in the UK yeah, yeah. it's like the other way around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no, but I know it's a, that's a nightmare for me as well. But I'm yeah, also just reading American now that it's yeah, like backwards to me. But uh, exactly, yeah, like I mean, dude, if you wanted to be reckless, like let's have a look at how Sava. No, now nah, it ended. Sava ended so strong yesterday as well. Like this yeah, is so yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Look so, so I, I won't be touching it today. I think I'll just wait for the backside. I don't like. I think eventually this is gonna fade like any other crap. But I'm just gonna wait and then just play a cat that that 
that that cap bounce or, or something similar. No, but dude, like I mean, I've been trading for quite a few years now, and you've been trading much less time. But you you seem to be doing more prep. You've got you've got just as good an analysis <laughs> about as I have. You know, all the same reads. So uh, I but, mean, I'm not surprised if you're trading profitably. I'm really not. It, I mean, how's your discipline? Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Like every now and again, I'll have like you know, because we're all human at the end of the day. But every now and again, I'll have a fuck up. But I mean, this month, uh, let me have a look because I have like. I think I, I've taken, let me see one sec, because I don't have it open at the moment. Uh, I'm just opening an Excel I have here with some, with my trades. Riggy, what's Riggy saying? Are you back? Simon's saying, are you back in Newcastle yet? Yes, Simon, I'm back in Newcastle. Uh, yeah, that's... So, so, <clears throat> so for this month, I've taken um, 17 trades and yeah. and I've lost one, two, three, five five trades. It's not bad. It's not bad. As, so, long, as, long, as, you're, as long as you're getting a two to one, even, though, even if you're getting a one to one, it doesn't matter. Like I hear people are like, you need to have three to one win ratio. I'm like, nah. Yeah, you, you don't. You, 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 you don't. You don't. But yeah, I, I try to focus on like three to one. Like on on the setups on the setups that I take, I try to focus on that because I, I I let I let the daily dictate my my risk instead of looking at the intraday noise, you know where you just daily you mean where it's closed on volume basically. Yeah, exactly. Like for example, on on Sava, instead of you know instead of shorting something into like an intraday or on the day we are talking about on the sixth of December, instead of just you know sh um, looking for an intraday level, I'll just short like into into a daily into a, into an area that makes sense on the daily because it the daily is much more important than the intraday high yeah well dude i can i can show you some levels right now you've obviously got here you've got where it topped twice here you've got where it's bottomed it's it, uh -huh. it, you've got you've got a top there then it closed and then you've got where it ended it closed again um and then you've obviously got like around this area here are them levels coming up yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's. Do you agree with them, or would you? Or is this not how you read it? Um, yeah, I would read it, but obviously, like as we were talking about this one, like this, this is not something I would be touching now because it's holding up yeah, too yeah. well at the moment. Yeah. So, so at the moment, I mean, you can take a short, and and uh, and uh, the videos I look at sometimes on a Monday is, you know, you know Nate, right? From Nate. Investors Underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you probably know him. Yeah, so I, I, I watch his uh, I watch his like Monday's watch list, and uh, he says that he would be taking a short if it spikes into the sevens. Jesus Christ, into the sevens? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, because that's that's probably where I mean this thing's gonna push two more. I think this is gonna push one more day, which is today. Yeah, and it's probably gonna get backside. So like, if if you've got like an account where you can hold shorts without a time seven borrow fee, thanks for zero. Yeah. <laughs> like, like if, if you've got an account where you can hold overnight, then yeah, I'd, I'd probably short the sevens if it looked weak backside. Watch it after hours and then hope it gaps down. Yeah, uh, Tuesday, yeah. But. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like for, for, for me, the, the level that uh huh, for me, the level that makes sense now is uh, if you look at the weekly. So sometimes oh, when yeah. I don't see le when I don't see clear levels on the daily, I look at the weekly, and if you it's look at the really weekly, shit, we don't. So, tr tr Socks that trade doesn't even have weekly, dudes. You're throwing too oh, much. Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do, do you do you have um? Do you use Discord at all? Uh yeah, I've been in a few chat rooms. Uh, I jumped in Roland's chat for a bit. I think I'm still in that uh, on Discord. And I had me. We had. I had me own little chat on Discord as well, but. Um, but now I just started trading solo, like, and I jumped in Saxo Trade Pro because obviously Tim Bowen does it. But honestly, yeah. I, don't, I don't do anything. I just do me own shit. But that that's worked, and I've done Excel. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, I understand. You just like to do your own thing, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Like, I, I like, think it's the best to be honest, because you you know if you know what works for you and you have your and you track your your data, then you you don't need to listen to anyone. I, I think the only thing that's good about being in a chat is that sometimes you might miss. The odd ticker here and there, and it's good to you know to 
to get people to tell you, oh, this is spiking or that's spiking. But apart from that, you just should you should just do your own thing unless you're a newbie, and uh, you know you want to well pick pick someone else's brain a little bit. No, I think if you're new, you should be in chat for like the first first year or so, or a year or two. But then, I mean, after that, all what I felt like, fine, yeah, they're gonna alert, someone can alert you to something moving. But yeah. like, if I look at my data, the only time I ever make money is in the first hour or hour and twenty minutes of the market opening. Uh huh. And then yeah. every, and then I just me in the afternoon, all I do is give back money. So like, I'm <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll ten thirty and just shut it down. Yeah. Um, but, but, what what I do is like I I, I short something, and then um, if it you know if it looks like an all day fader, I'll just hold it till the end of the day. Like I'll take off, like I'll cover some pieces, and then just hold it to, until the check end of the in. day. Just yeah. Check back in and hope. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, yeah, yeah, like for for me, like like these plays, like uh, what, how much is I think like sixty or seventy percent of them are like all day faders. Like a short, yeah, a yeah. short, short into like major daily resistance, like seventy four percent of them are like all day faders, and that's a sample size of like forty four tickers since last year. No, yes, since no, since July. No, that's 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 interesting to know, but it's no surprise. I mean, because if you think if like these these first red days that you that you shorten, um, they're kind of like. There's not much volume in them, so there's not much action in them. So they, they generally just go one way, right? Yeah. It's people painfully selling who are who are in long, slowly selling. Yeah. Them up. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, um, so how, and much, then, and how, then, much up, how much are you up this year? Um, not much to be honest, because I was trading like really small shares. Because you know, I I I thought like, well, I want to be in this game as much as possible, as long as possible. And if I start trading like really with you know, big size, then I'm just going to get like really emotional. And for me at the moment is not, it's not about making money, but it's about, you know, l learning how to trade properly. Like I'm more obsessed with the actual process than with making money. Yeah, um, it's the perfect attitude as well. It's the perfect attitude because, and I, I'm exactly the same. I mean, like sometimes like I love, I, like I've had a few thousand dollar days and stuff and like, there's nothing that would make us more happy than a thousand dollar day. Yeah. But also, losing two thousand dollars also makes us extremely sad. Yeah, exactly. But, but like, there's that. That's a fun thing. But but you've also like you've got to be in it for the love of the game. You've got to be in mm -hmm. it to want to beat the system. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So so and that's what I'm. That's that's what I'm like obsessed with at the moment. Like you, obviously, you know, you're in it because you know you want to make a living out of it one day, and you you want to have that dream life. But at the same time, like I know that if I trade big size and I'm get obsessed with like you know making making a lot of money i'm just gonna lose because i'll get too emotional and and you know i think i'm ready to you know to to make more money but i'm just like taking it one step at a time and uh, i just had like last week i had it was the first time where i made like 500 dollars hey how did that uh, <laughs> how did it yeah feel? so Wow, it was amazing. I, I made I, I made like five hundred dollars in like in like an hour or two hours, and I was like, "Wow, <laughs> you know." Uh, feels good, right? Uh, yeah, and before that, I was making like one hundred or two hundred, and and uh, you know, it will probably be a while until I get back to like five hundred again. But I, I don't I don't care. Like I just want to trade properly. With, you know, just make a little and just be consistent. Like I know the money will follow eventually, and it will come at one point. No oh, man, I'm I'm exactly the same. I'm like like even now, like I'm trading with a six hundred dollar account, even though I've proven that I can grow three hundred, four hundred percent, but like and I could I've got money that I could throw into an IB account and trade with the twenty, thirty thousand dollars or whatever. But I'm just mm -hmm. like I just I'm just like I don't wanna do it because I'm like I wanna prove myself more, I wanna prove that I can have the discipline. It's so it's not yeah. even about the money, it's about beating the game. Beating the game's more important than making the money. Yeah, exactly. And once you beat the game then the money will follow. Exactly, and uh, I'll leave it at that because I'm going to head and get a beer and, and, and take a rest. But uh, mate, it's been it's been amazing chatting with you. Yeah, it's, it's been really nice chatting to you too. Um, and uh, I think if you want to, you can follow me on uh, on on Twitter, or I don't know if you want to, you know, stay in touch. Then I'll be more than happy to. Yeah, yeah. Just put put yeah. your Twitter in the um, in the comments box, and I'll pop it up and I'll give you a follow. Um, okay. 
But uh, no, nah, dude, you, you really seem like you know what you're doing. I'm excited to see how you progress, and maybe we'll get you on Steady Trader one day as well. If you do watch, listen to Steady Trade. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. <laughs> one day maybe we'll get you on Steady Trade, and we'll have a chat, and we'll put you on with Tim Bone and that as well. But me, I think okay, this will be cool. Live on YouTube as a video, and I think a lot of people will learn a lot from what you just told them. So it's awesome. Okay, okay, awesome, awesome. Thank you. All right, peace, dude. See Take you, man. care. Cheers. Bye, bye. I mean, that was cool. He's a pretty cool guy. I also like, uh, and he also gives some good picks in that as well. So thank you for that, Scotty. I'm just gonna pop pop back. I'll be back in a second. But what I'll do is I'll leave the I'll leave the screen on so you guys can go mental if anything uh, pops up. But so far it's just SAVE. Oops. Uh, okay, guys, I'll be uh, just having a quick look at what's going on. Just keep this running. I'll be keeping this running on Market Open if you want to keep it running. If you just want us in the background, it's fine. I don't mind. But, uh, I mean, look, there's a long time on Market Open. Um, we've got exactly one and a half hours to go. I'll stream the whole thing at about 10 o'clock since it's the first one. I don't mind. But I'll leave the screener on so you guys can all see what's uh, what's potentially running.
Oh, Lan. Come on my live stream. We've got another guest coming up, just one sec. <clears throat> Sava, do 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 honey honey do 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 Sava, do 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 Good morning, folk. Oh, what am I doing? My neck's in a little bit. I must fix that. Uh, we've got someone else coming who's pretty pretty solid trader, but also quite new. Um. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool chick. Uh, I've spoken her on text, but I haven't spoken her loads. I need to need to get get that bitch on here. And by the way, all of the all of the future recaps and stuff. The hour, if you're watching now and you're like, "When's the market open? When's you gonna trade?" It's 90 minutes from now. It's fucking ages away. Why do you think I'm singing these bad boys? You're going to see us drunk and make money, potentially. Potentially. Tell all your friends. Tell all your friends that, uh, your friend, this is the future. It's a brand new beginning. So this, is, this shit's going down a lot more. And if it gets popular, because I think it's probably a good idea, if it gets popular and it gets bigger, then uh, we're going to kick it. Ah. I've got a chat. So, uh, but yeah, nothing much going on now. <laughs> fucking hell, this is funny. Just fucking around. Uh, this is pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> Just messing around and learning me around this thing. Oh, no fucking way. All right. No way. <clears throat> you need some silence. Ah, wait, it might be me. You need to unmute the mic. Mic's muted. You need to unmute us. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you're on. Hi. Finally. How's it going? Good. <laughs> what are you doing? You know are you still there? YouTube... Yeah. What? Are you? Still you know you're on a YouTube live stream, right? Seriously? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> big yeah. time. Yeah, big time. Go on the YouTube channel. You'll you'll see yourself live on YouTube on my YouTube channel. Oh god. Yeah. So, uh, 
fixing the deep sleep cycle in one day. Uh, how's it going? Good, great. <clears throat> Latika, how's life? <clears throat> life is good. Um, I just thought we could run. Are you on your mobile phone or are you on a laptop? Mobile phone. Do you have a laptop in front of you? Yeah, I do. I think you easier to are you on stocks to trade or something? Are you on something else? I think it's better you reconnect from your laptop so you can see what we're okay. going through properly. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Latika always keep on reaching out for us to help out. Oh, look at this. M M M what's that? Oh, M E X R is it up fifteen percent? Let us just show you guys this. New York Stock Exchange. Ah, she's just texting saying, I'm not doing this. <laughs> she's just texting, I'm not doing this. That's pretty funny. Does anyone else want to come on? Like, let's just do five minutes. I don't want to do long things. Let's just do a quick five minutes. Heads up, hello. Uh, while we're waiting, like, not some long drawn out conversation. If anyone else wants to, to jump on, there's the link. Just a quick what's hot, what's not hot. MAXR, oh, look at this. Look at this. Uh, from the 50s to the 15s, to the high, high, it normally trades good volume. It's gapping up. I don't like the sector, really, because the sector is tech. MAXR, if it gets higher, is like, <clears throat> could be a potential short. Um, but, I mean, I don't really see... Other than it's got a bad long-term chart, it's been doing well recently. It's got this up curve. So so um, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, there's nothing for me. I mean, Salva's like tomorrow may come down, but right now there's nothing. Like Neil was popping. Let's have a quick look at this. Computer's slow because of live stream, motherfuckers. It's because I'm trying to help people, but normally I'll have a plan and I'll have stops and stuff like that. Neil is coming up, but it's a billion float. It's not my thing. You can see the float here. Not my thing. Nah, I wouldn't. I just wouldn't touch it. Golly's saying, "Would you go long, Neo?" I'm like, "Nah, I wouldn't touch it." Simon said, "Ha ha." I don't know what he's saying. Ha ha about. Sava went crazy. One minute candle. Have a quick look back at. Have a quick look at. Well, that's too much. Have a quick look at Sava again. Sava, R.E.D. was the other one. Yeah, I'm honestly getting, oh, Sava's. You know what it is, though, like, when you see this, like, intraday stuff, it's like, with Sava, it's like, ah, is it backside? Is it over? Is it over? But for me, it's, uh, this could go all the way back up to the nines. I wouldn't be surprised if this went all the way up to the nines because it's like a gap fill, right? You know the gap fill strategy? Well, like it's had this big gap down from the nines to the twos. Sava is probably a good long all the way up the nines, and it'll probably get there as well. Uh oh, I don't know if there's someone's coming in. I don't know if I'm allowed to be drinking beer. Well, I can do whatever I want because I'm a man. Yeah, Sava looks like if it breaks view up now, I mean, and it keeps on descending, then you can see it might wash out the open. But this motherfucker will double bounce and run. So you can never say never with that one. Can't believe Latika pied it. Um, Melbourne shorts. Uh, do you ever trade the clothes? Um, not, not really, not really. Sometimes, like I remember when Bitcoin was running well, like a couple of years ago, I went long uh, one of the Bitcoin stocks. I went all, like RKD was somehow related to Bitcoin or one of them. I can't remember what. And um, and I ended up, ended up. Um, making a good trade I'm, I'm like scared on you by the way i'm like i'm like nervous because it's live and i don't want to like fuck stuff up i say the wrong thing or something but um 
but nah, very rarely trade the close, almost never. Because with trade zero, you can't hold the shorts. Sava's just, uh, this is Ricky Man Mahayan. Look at that body, Ricky. Fucking, you're a sexy motherfucker. I need to get off the BME. Uh, yeah, Ricky, it's a trap. It's a trap. And it's probably them. Like, it's probably people inside shareholders or some hedge fund pushing Sava down. Yeah, don't get fooled. Don't get fooled. Do not get fooled. By the way, I'll be live trading on this and stuff, but there's just no trades to take. But for shizzle me, whizzle me, dizzle, and this will all be recorded and put on. Uh, no worries, fella. <clears throat> Melbourne Shorts has been following for a while. Fork smash. Ha ha ha. And no one wants to talk to us. Is there any hot girls who want to talk to us? Like That would like boost the views right up if we've got like, some hot chick on. <laughs> Uh, like, can someone get like a stripper on or something, or some like hot chick? Like, that's what I really want. BLIN is a, a one that normally runs a lot, isn't it? See what that morpho is doing. Guys, we've got an hour and 25 minutes. What the hell? Oh, look at the chart on B. Look at the chart on this. It's terrible. See this gap up and fail on 30 million, gap up and fail, gap up and fail. If I was tempted, to, if I wanted to take any, like BL, BLIN gets it like quite a bit higher. Like what's what are these days from 160 to 170? These are like 5% days. This thing gets up 40, 50%. <laughs> I'll I'll I'll, t I'll take a stab short, but probably like into like the two seventies or something because it proves that it can like this proves that it can really. I mean, it's aftermarket, but it can still rip up on volume and it's gapping up now. But uh, th this is such a low float that you'd have to take like a double top short, and you'd need to reserve shares ahead of time. And I'm just not going to reserve shares. But oh, SVRA twenty seven percent up. Yes, shit's moving. Come on, motherfucker. Ah, uh, look, it's got a bad history as well. This could be a dream short. Big gap down, big gap down. Biotech, my favorite sector. Come on, motherfucker. It's up 30% as well. What's the news? Breakthrough therapy. Sounds like bullshit. Granted, breakthrough designation, whatever, whatever. Yeah, is it cancer or anything? Let's just make sure that's not. But what do you do? Of treatment of APAP, don't know what that is. If this gets one more leg up to the 40s or 50s, I'm, I'm taking it. It's a 33 million float. Uh, they're all underwater massively. <clears throat> I'll just let us just quickly check on Yahoo Finance if uh, just to make sure they're losing money and they're not a real company. SVRA is a potential short right now. Just one sec. I just need to check Yahoo Finance to make sure the to make sure like they're not a good company or anything. And I'd like to see like one more leg up to like the two sixties, two seventies before it comes down, because the news is still fresh. I don't want to get like overexcited and just jump in. <clears throat> the finances. Sorry, I can't show you this. Financials. Yeah, the company the company loses a, fu a fuckload every year. Has it got any SEC filings? No, nah, it's got no. What time is it? Eight oh eight. Oh, come on, give us one more leg up. Trade zero. See how much borrows all. Pretty cheap. Take them anyway. I want this to go to, like, I'll take, like, 245, 255. I'm placing orders right now. You just can't see. I want I want it to have another leg up or I'm not I'm not being involved. Just, what the fuck's it called? SVRA. SVRA. There's 100 at 245 order placed. Oh, it's just come through as it's popped up. Got the next leg up that I wanted. You, you heard that noise. 
255, 265. Uh, what's the price of this? I think I can get. So I am live in a position. How much fun? 265. Fuck you, don't have enough buying power. Fuck you. Such a bullshit stock though, because like, I need this to go to the threes for it to do anything. But if it went to the threes, I'd short this even, I'd short this up to the threes. I'm up 10 bucks. I'm back to zero, back to even. I'd show you me broker, but I need to figure out how to like hide the details and stuff. Like I want you to be able to see like the trades that I'm making and stuff. But I need to figure out if I can show you like just part of it or if I can hide some of it and, and stuff like that. So like right now I'm just showing you. Uh stocks trade just quit. One second, I'll just load this back up. Yeah, Omar. Um Omar just asked this. Uh, well, are you sending orders out and just, be, yeah, yeah. It'll go a second leg up and then it'll probably fail unless more volume comes in. Um, Ricky Hatton, what are you risking off? You sexy morpho. I don't know yet, mate. I don't know because my platform just shut down. Um, but uh, I'm not, like, I'm in, like, $300, so I'm not even taking the trade seriously. That Like, if it actually pushes into, like, 280s, 290s, 3s, because like I'm only in a hundred shares, like ideally I'd be in like a thousand shares. So I'm not even looking at it yet because I'm not taking it seriously unless something happens. But I, I, <clears throat> we might take it seriously. You're a light theme type of dude, I see. I don't know how you do it. I don't know what light theme means, dude. Explain. Stocks to trade, strip to trade. Get some strippers on. I will get me dick out on camera. I don't know if I can even say that. I'm not getting me dick out on camera. It's the 30th. I'm sure the market will be slow. Um, I'm up. Uh, is this back on yet? Oh, yeah, we're back on. Hang on. Let's share. So far, this is looking pretty good. I mean, the volumes. Oh, the volumes a bit heavier than I would like. This is this is getting a bit scary now. See what I'm in on trade zero? I don't want that. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick to me guns I'll, and I'll put this one 273. So I've got uh, 245, 255, and 273. That should put us at an average of about two, 257 or something like that. Um, But I, I mean, I don't mind this running higher. I don't think, it, unless the volume rapidly increases. Is there any, uh, yeah, the news was bullshit. I don't think this will run. And, and I, but I'm, I'm equally, I think it could have another leg up yet. It could go to 270s, 280s. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like chase action and be like, oh, you're gonna miss out on the move. You're gonna miss out on the move. Like that's, I've done, I'd rather just miss the trade than, um, like I'd rather miss the trade than just, than chase it down for profit. I'd rather just miss out because you never know what's gonna happen. So this this is where discipline comes in because sometimes you're like, oh, I'm gonna miss it, I'm gonna miss it. Short two thirty seven, short two thirty two, and then it pops up a fee wap. So um, I wouldn't know if I can show you as my screen. Nah, I kind of it's got me account number on and stuff. I'll figure it out. But I'm I'm um my average right now is uh, I only got hundred shares at two forty five. It's at two forty. I'm up like five bucks. It's nothing. It's just a starter. Um, let's keep the screener up though. But SVRA, if you want to trade SVRA safer, like it, it's never really ran before. It's been all bad news. This shit's, even if you go back two years, this like it traded two, uh, it's not really had big volume either though. So this trades 10 million, you don't know what it's capable of. Maybe it could go. Closed, I mean, it would close the gap to the threes. I don't know if it would go much better than that. Can't, I can't see it doing more than closing the gap. But you never know. It's traded a couple hundred thousand already. It looks like it's making the next level up. Um, if it goes mental, it goes mental. The, the, which is why I won't chase it down, you know what I mean? This is going to be a channel of me blowing up and rationalizing it. <laughs> 
Uh, the market is not slow, guys. A lot of retail traders who are on holidays. In who are on holidays. It's a good insight. Ricky, Ricky, be careful. Yeah, dude, I'm in tiny. No, it's just dropped at the two thirties. Not that it's worth anything, but I'm up ten dollars. Bullshit. I don't. I don't really care. I'll be out. It costs us five bucks to fucking borrow the thing. Fork smash. I. Then I think trying to remember from when I used a couple of SC2 trails as a theme option. Ah, oh, right. You're a light kind of guy. I don't know how you. Yeah, yeah, it's all I do. Uh, just the appetizer. Ah, it's something to do. Like something to do. It's holding up relatively okay right now. But all right, this is the type. This is the type of risky trading that I do. Like, and, but for me, it's not risky because uh, this is the only way I've traded, and I trade profitably this way. But for you guys, shorten a uh, stock first green day with news. Pre-market is fucking insanity, but for me, I've been doing it, and I've kind of moss at it to the point where I can make money on it. Well, I, I did last year anyway, and I've made about seven grand in the last eight months from doing this. So, fork smash. But I, I, me six hundred dollar account is now a thousand dollars, and I just keep on building, and then ideally withdrawn. Where's the strip, as guys? Uh oh, next level up. It's a good thing. I, if I saw this in the threes, I'd hammer it. If it got to the threes, I would I would use leverage and I'd hammer it. And if I blow up, I'd, not like if I blow up, I wouldn't, like if I get to the point where I'm a couple of hundred, 300 down, I have to cut it. But if it got to the threes, I see this coming all the way back down to the two, two twenties, two thirties. I should get, I should get the next fill. It's looking kind of strong. I think I'm going to change me uh, add just so my average isn't too low. Nah, nah, I'll keep it. I'm only in 300 shares. It's nothing. I'll try and get the 55. It's pushing. It's trying to push. If it breaks through, it should quickly get to the 70s and 80s, which is what I want. Like, I want it to go. I don't want it to fail now. I want it. Ideally, I want it to get to the threes, and then I'll take it seriously as a trade. If it could be like two 70s, two 80s. But I also, you've got to watch the volume. I don't like this volume being too high. This volume is a bit scary. This volume puts us off. I don't like 300,000 uh, at this time. It's a bit high. And I don't like the fact that it's the top percent gainer. Oh, ACTG. Market is lighting up, motherfuckers. Let's see what's going on here. This may, I might even take this off and go on AC, ACTG if it looks safer. This looks another like another biotech. Oh, look at that gap and fail. Beautiful. Only one million though. ACTG is another. Uh, let's see, it's chalk on back two years, maybe. I love that gap and fail. I don't like that it hasn't traded much volume. The volume stays super light, uh, like super, like below 200,000. Uh, what's the only trading volume? 180,000. I don't really like that one too much. SVRA is the one. I just pray that it can hold up and keep going. I'm up four bucks right now, but I really want to see this one in the threes. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change me order to 261. Me next fill in 281. Look, I'm just playing it safe because it's the top percent gain, and then I'll have an average of like I don't know, like 273, and then I can start hovering at a 310, 320, 330. And then, it, and then if it keeps going, then I'll just cut it. But like, yeah, and and there's so many scenarios here. Like this could, like, I'll just make sure that you can see the screen properly. Yeah, there's so many. I'll go full screen so I can explain it. But there's so many. There's so many scenarios for this right here. It can like consolidate and pop. It can dwindle right now. It can push through highs. It can, come, it, can, it can drop out the open and then push after that. Like it can, There's so many scenarios, and I don't know what it's going to do. So right now, it's making higher lows. So let's just hope it pushes higher. For now, let's hope it goes higher. Market looks pretty busy, though. It's pretty good. Don't break down. Oh, if it breaks down, it's a joke.
Oh, God. Uh, if it, I mean, ah, it's break, is it breaking down already? It can it be. I've only got 100 chairs. This is the dilemma. If it breaks down, I'll miss out. Ricky is saying uh, no clear level on the daily risk to offer me. Yeah, it's, it's more of a risky one, uh, like with the volume. Yeah, dude, you're right. It's a risky one, but uh, did a lot of research on an Excel, and generally stocks spike 7% before the fail, regardless of the resistance to short into. I mean, you put, I mean, the obvious daily resistance is where it closes the gap. Yeah, uh, it's already broke it. More like, yeah, like 270s maybe. Top of here is three. If it gets through 320, it just depends how it acts. Like I read the tape more, but if it blows through the 320s, then obviously I'm, I'm, I'm probably out. 320, I would say, is my risk. I'll, I'll be shorting like heavily 3310 if it gets there. And if it breaks 320 and holds 320 and keeps going, then I'm out. Carlos, is ground that solid? Thank you, sir. You, you, you to live regularly. This is for, yeah, dude. This is the first time I've ever done it, and I'm going to do it all the time. I'm even going to do the recap videos live and everything. Everything's going to be live from now on, so I don't have to edit and I don't have to upload because that's that's why I was stopping. Not because I didn't love trading, just because I was sick of um. Like I like to. I saw some guy live streaming streaming poker tournaments and explaining his thought process, and I was like, this is like so much easier than editing videos. It's so less like so less interactive. I was like, I'm just gonna do this all the time as much as I can, because then I get to know people as well. Nice eyebrows, bro. Yeah, dude, I've got good jeans, motherfucker. Melbourne short time off to bed. I'll be back at five a.m. looking for closing trades. It's bloody tricky. Yeah, dude, I know. I'm, but um, good on you for getting up, bro. SVRA hasn't. Ah, Scotty Pips is called Ricky Martin. God, you look you look so good looking on your picture, by the way. It's funny. Um, tell you what. S V R A. So this is where I am at the moment, just so like people can see who are like new or they're coming in. Am I am I in two forty? Let's just check the price I'm in. It's roughly that. It's ah, uh, my entry's two forty five. Let's see if I can edit this. So as of now, that's where I am. Just so you guys can see the positions in that live. <laughs> <coughs> oh my God, what's going on? It's down to 237. <sighs> <laughs> That's funny. Susie looks hot in his profile picture, but ugly live. Now you look pretty good looking live as well. <laughs> if this live stream gets to 100 people, I'll be fucking shocked. So I was like, oh, I'm going to do a live stream talking to no one. And I was like, it doesn't really matter. At least you put in the videos. At least it's recording. It's that. But if it gets to 100, I'll be stunned. It's at 25 now in the market. It's not even yet open. So I'll be pretty stunned. I thought I was going to get like 15 people and then it was just going to be over. Uh, how do you how do you guys know I was online? Do you get an email saying I've gone live or something? I'd, I'd be cool to know. Yes, sir. But, ah, dude, there's still time. SVRA could push at the open. I hope it does. Looks like it's going to break down. Ugh. 
Um, anyone else drinking? Or is it just me? I quickly walked out. So I'm in England right now, if, in case you guys didn't know. Oh, it's pushing. Nice. Very nice. Let's hope it keeps pushing. Push, push, motherfucker. Yes, yes. You're the man, dude. People like you, bro. Yeah, dude. If, if it, and it'll not hit 100. Say we'll get 50 today, I'll be happy. Like, I would, I'm happy with 20. I just woke up, grabbed my iPod, at my YouTube feed, and there you were, motherfucker. That's nice. I need to do something new. I've been wondering for a while. I need to, like, interview some people, interview some people, do some Q&As, do some live streaming, do, like, weekly recaps live so people can discuss the trades with us. So the Twitter link... Same as Ricky. I'm just staying up all night watching videos. <laughs> Dude, you have to. That's the way you learn. Oh, there's a fail. Look at that push. This is serious. This is serious now, guys. This is serious. I am now in 200 shares at 253. Down $38. $34. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm only, I'm a bit scared about how much it's trading. I might have to be a bit careful with this. If it doesn't slow down, I might have to be careful. Like, I wanted to hit the threes, but, um, like, at the same time, I don't want to be down, like, 200 bucks pre-market before the market opens. That's too scary. I'm glad I changed that last order. I mean, last order is, like, 282. The way things are going, I'm going to change it to, like, 289. I want to fucking get the best average I can. I mean, but it's tiny. I'm down $26, and if this works out, it's a $500 trade, maybe even $600. I don't want it to go too crazy too soon, though. I'd really prefer to pull. Like, I'm happy that it's done this, but um, it's still an hour pre. Like, I don't want it to go mental. Um, maybe I do. I don't know. Nah, I don't. I don't feel comfortable being down, being down more than 100 bucks pre-market, honestly. Down more than more than 150. I don't want to be down more than 153. That's too much. And this thing looks like it might explode. So I don't. I don't want to be in more than like. I mean, what's what position can I take on this? Let's have a look. Yeah, dude. SVRA is looking strong. Wouldn't it be funny for me stream if I blow up on the first one that I did? <laughs> I mean, it counts only a thousand bucks, but it's true. I'm already a little bit scared. This needs to seriously pull back. It's too early for this shit. It's too early for it to rock it. And it's like, nah, the gap's fucking three, and then and then the gap after that's like, yeah, it's like six. I'd like to see it, yeah. I like. I wanted to run, but the volume, the like a million volumes too much. Like I might have to just pull out of this one and then maybe attack it later on, unless it pulls back to VWAP and holds around the two sixties. Then that's fine. I mean, I'm down thirty bucks. It's nothing. Two hundred from two fifty three.
I would, yeah, Carly, my plan is to cut at 3.30 as well. So hammer it at 3.20 or 3.10. Since it gets in the threes, I'm going to hammer it with, like, get me average right up the 290s and then. But I, don't, I, want, I want the spike to 3.20 to be, like, at the open. Like, otherwise, like, it's too fucking scary. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to this later. But if this hits the threes before the market open, it's too scary, I think, for me. And it's the only fuck I run in. And it's got a lot of volume. It's a scary one, this. Like, it's not scary now. I could cut it, I could cut it right now and I'd lose... Uh, cut it right now and I'd lose $38. Like, it's really not a problem at all now. It's what it does. That's the worry. Yeah, he has a bit of a pullback. That's what I... I it's 18000 on the bid. We'll all we'll, we'll just go on full screen here. Yeah. Uh, that's a nice pullback. So like now I'm like 28 bucks down. Like it's really, it's really, it's very, it, I, you just want the trade to be manageable. So you've got like nothing to like, you just want the trade to be manageable. So you never feel uncomfortable. Like I do not feel uncomfortable $28 down. I really don't. Um, but I would feel uncomfortable, $120 down, $2 million pre floating. It's about to go through the threes, and I don't know what's going on, and I'm in a too big a position. But, I mean, I'm probably I'm probably almost green on this now. Yeah, I'm, I'm flat, four, six, $4 down. Six, uh, this, is, this is exactly, I'm nearly green on this. This is exactly, exactly, exactly what I needed to happen. It's perfect. But it was scary for a second there. I was going to have to cut that one. But it's okay. As long, as long as you're willing to cut it, it's okay. It does have a good cut list. Yeah, it's some news, but it's not fucking... It looks like fluff to me. Like, I'll bring it up and we can read it again. I'd cut at three. Probably, I'm cutting 320. ETB, um, I didn't realize. Float is higher. Let's look at the news for the sake of looking at the news again. Hang on. Savara granted breakthrough therapy designation for Molaga for treatment of autoimmune pulmonary availability or whatever, whatever. If acid disease I've never even heard of. Child stuff and, and cancer runs. I don't see other stuff. It's an orphan, orphan lung disease company. Jesus fucking Christ. Breakthrough. If anything says breakthrough, it means it's bullshit. Designation for Molgradex. Expedite the development and review of drugs that are intended to treat serious. A serious condition and preliminary clinical evidence. Yeah, exactly. Preliminary clinical evidence indicates that the drug may, may, fucking huge word, demonstrate substantial improvements over available therapy. We are pleased that the FDA recognized. They didn't. It doesn't sound like they've approved anything. It just sounds like that. Oh, we've recognized it. So the fucking sent in a, some form back to them is a breakthrough therapy for the treatment of APAP. A debilitating rel. These words just make it sound like hey, no approved pharma pharma pharmacologic. <laughs> yeah, no approved pharmacologic options. So what makes you think you your shit company is going to be the first one? Do you know what I mean? The news is bullshit to me. Like, yeah, you might have done Summit, but I don't buy it. What I do buy is the volume, though. The volume's scary. The volume is scary. Do not want to really see it in the threes, pre-market. Only because I don't want to cut it so early. I don't want to, I don't want to cut it. I want to build in. But we really don't know where the top is yet. But like, I'm also super glad. Like when it was in the, 
Like I could have chased and filled in in the 240s and I would have been fucked in the 270s. So this is why patience pays. Like when it looked like it was going to fail below VWAP, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of shorts would have loaded in and got squeezed and probably held and still be holding. But I was patient and waiting. The game is to let it go up to threes. Don't, don't be like, oh, I'm scared to miss out on the trade. Uh, and it's comfortable right now. Like let it go through. Keep going. Ideally not straight away though. Volume's a bit scary. I don't want to cut. I don't want to cut it yet. But uh, this does. I mean, right now this looks pretty unstoppable. But we'll see. I, it's hard to it's hard to trust anything right now. But the way it's lagging up and the way the volume. I mean, a million right now. It's a shit company, but it looks like it. I don't want to. Yeah, I just don't want it to get too aggressive and ramp. If it ramps now, it's like it's obviously strong. And and I'm I'm not some person who knows the news. Like I could be misinterpreting it, but from what I understand in the years I've been trading, it doesn't doesn't sound anything good. I'd like to see it. Yeah, that's that's quite nice. But but again, like I wanted to go to the threes. Do you know what I mean? Like I want to see it go to the threes, just not now. Yeah, a little bit of a flush would do us a favor. I could even take a little bit off and then add higher to make sure my average isn't too low. But I mean, I'm in 200 shares. I'm down 30 bucks. It would be pretty pathetic to reduce a 200 share position to 150 or something. Oh, oh, what have I got now to go? Hope this is entertaining for you guys. I wouldn't show any first green day. <laughs> Dude, I've made this is the only way I know how to make money is short in first green days. It's, 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 I had a profitable year last year short in first green days. God, not shorting into weakness. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You cannot. I'm I'm all short, bro. I'm like one in tens long. I, dude, I mean, I don't think this is a bad long. If anyone takes wants to take this long, if it drops to view up and pops back up, I'd be taking this long to sell into the three tens, three twenties, where I think everyone will short. I don't think this is a bad, I don't think it's a terrible long, but not that I'm recommending it. And I know I'm short, but it's, it's for a reason. God, DTSS as well. It's times like this, I wish I had a slightly bigger account. Oh. Look at the way this runs and feels as well. Talking to Scotty before, like when you got this 12 million and then it's it's five million floor, chances are this will come down as well. This is almost a safer play. Needs to be up a bit more though. DTSS. Oh, I need to write a word. There's too much shit going on because DTSS is a potential good short as well. Jesus Christ. Got if this stops here, yeah, I don't really want to see it. I don't really want to see this push through the threes already. It's scary. It's the last time I traded 10 million volume here. Yeah. Four more volume. Maybe. Yeah, I don't really want to see this one push through just yet. I don't want to be down more than 150 pre. That would suck. Oh my God. This is going to be too aggressive. I'm going to have to stop out probably. Oh my God. It's the final of the 100 shares in. Please don't smash through three. <sighs> That's pretty aggressive. I just don't rip, don't rip up. Yeah, the volume's crazy on this now. It's it's really got traction. 
Might have to just cut this, sadly. Yeah, it's going crazy now. SLGLs of 105%. What the fuck is going on? Oh, what a fucking beauty. Missed that. That typically trades no volume, though. At least there's a fucking different focus. We do not want to see the break of three. Jesus Christ. We are going to break three. This is, don't want to take a $90 loss. I want to take a loss already. It's a bad start of the day. It'll not just break through, it'll smash through. That's the fucking problem. Oh. I don't want to lose money on me first ever live stream. Ugh. I want to show that I'm good, not bad. Oh my god. I'm about the market open. You guys should just go the opposite of all the positions that I take. Oh god. This is fucking crazy. See if it holds three, then I'm just gonna have to get out. I will get you back to on the backside. See if it holds the three. It does I'm out. Heavy. Trying to hold the three. Oh, some shares going through there. If I get back down to the two seventies, I'll probably pull out. And then short three hundreds. See if I can get out of this at a relatively okay price. But uh, people are not fucking around with this. Jesus Christ. Is it going to go higher? Jesus Christ. I'm gonna have to cut this. I'm just waiting for the pullback to cut it. It's too crazy. Come on, give us a pullback with the 290s and I'm out. That's. Good news is the market's pretty hot, so. There should be something else. Is this the pullback? Come on. Come on. Don't be too aggressive, you motherfucker. How to lose money trading.
This is going to explode. I really want to pull back to get out on, but I'm not getting it. Come on, pull back. I, I, I'll, uh, you'll, this will end up fucking washing out the open as well, boss. It's too risky. Too much volume. All right. I'm out. That was, it's just not stopping. Out at 3.15. I lost like $150. It sucks. It's a bad start. But uh, me and this guy aren't done. We're not done. We'll revisit soon at the market open, potentially. Yeah, that was a good, uh, good, good get out. I think I got out at three fifteen. Oh, Jesus. The order didn't get accepted. Fuck. That's ridiculous. Jesus Christ. Fucking can't do market orders pre market, so I'm going to like losing 200. This is the worst start ever. This is a disaster. <sighs> so I fucking could, couldn't market out. I should have lost an extra 40 bucks because of that. SVRA is going berserk. So I made 450 bucks. In the last two days, and then I've just lost 220. Should have been 150, but end up being 220 because I didn't put the right order in. And now it comes down. There'll be a pullback, though. This stock's just too scary now. Oh, 220 loss is not what I want. Let's just give back 200. Especially on a thousand account. Working so hard. Yeah, SVR is pretty easy to borrow. I 
it's the front runner by a mile as well. Jesus. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. If this ends up. Oh, no. What? The uh, hatred. I was waiting for the pullback, waiting for the pullback, waiting for the pullback. Fucked up the order. I think this has potential to spike like 10 12 15 20 percent at the open i think i just i mean I'll, I'll i'll attack it again but um i'll see what it does at the open it might just be too scary i may have to just leave this one take the loss and move on and still think lock you've you're still up you're still up you're still up in the last few days To think that I started in the 250s and didn't get out all the way to the 320s, Jesus. I can hear Tim Bone on Stocks of Trade Pro being like, SVRA, avoid, avoid it. I hope to God it goes higher now, so I didn't just cover the top. Nah, there's 25,000 on the bid. It's fucking crazy. Agree, Carlos. Drink some more beer and relax. Losses are normal. Yeah, dude, I know. I know. I'm just going to maybe have one more and then chill. Uh, it's just, um, uh, it's just, it's sad to lose on my first live stream, <laughs> but it's not over yet. It's not over yet. We'll see what happens at the open. What DVDs did you watch? All of them. Tim Grittani, um, Docs, Roland Wolf. I watched some of Roland Wolf's quite a lot. Three twenty is its daily's resistance, so it might have some. Like, was it here? Yeah, no, three thirty, three, three, three twenty, three thirty. It's a bit of a struggle for it. Let's see what it does. So I know, I've only been. This was where, where I was meant to cut it. It looks for sure. It's too strong to just start coming down now. There's too much volume. It's too strong. But the chart is fucking terrible. I, this is, I, I don't think the news is that good. I don't think the chart's that good. These gap downs are horrendous. Like I get the whole gap to the full thing, but looks fucking a tiny bit weak now. Oh. I think it's breaking down now. Quick short back in, just to see if it breaks down. I'll cover straight away if it doesn't. Just try and recoup a little bit of this because it looks a bit weak. It just pushes through and I've been tricked and I've been tricked.
but it looks like it's going to drop off. Yeah, I just want to see if it will write down. Nah, it's not. It's pushing through. It's going to be another cover. Fuck. Trapped. Jesus, what a bad day. Full screen on this shit, I'm embarrassed. So goddamn strong. Uh, this will be a typical case of it will fail at the end of the day and I would have been early again. At least it's a lesson for all you guys. All you guys. They're not gonna be back in the new year. Yep. Yep. So be another trap before it goes much higher. <laughs> Yes, uh, yes, it has. It's all over now, dude. Terrible, worst live stream ever. Why don't why I don't show pre market too many traps? Yeah, man. It's a sad day today. It's a sad, sad day. Jesus Christ. It's going to go and go and go with this one. Pollen shorts in. Look at the volume, man. The volume says it all. That's it, the 30th of December. Uh, it'll be a sad, bit of a sad end of the year, but not the worst.
but the stock has me at its mercy though. Truly it does. I think right now I'm still okay on the account. Like I can still trade and that's just a loss, but I think dad's coming from golf right now. God, the volume's huge. I'd like to see the 330s again. Otherwise, I'm just fucked. The volume's insane. Is me, yeah, my head's gone. This is done. Oh, he has a drop. It's not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but it kind of is. It's Dan gone risky strategy. Fuck off. Fuck off. It's straight back. Fucking strength. Go. Oh. I see that someone's flushing the twenties again. Twenty fives, twenty sixes, twenty threes. What the fuck's going on? How big's the account? Not big. Like, I put um, 600 bucks in, um, put 600 bucks in, grew it to 1,000, um, because I, I do stupid stuff, so I always keep it low. But uh, yeah, I just keep on doing $600 accounts, and then if I can grow them to two or 3,000, then I'll withdraw. If I blow it up, then I'll blow it up. This looks like a day where I might blow it up. But I've, I've blew up quite a few of them, and it's okay. You just... Say it goes down to 300, you just add 300 in and go again. But uh, right now it's, 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 it's quite bad, but it's not the worst ever in the world. Like if I get one more pullback, I'm like pretty much in a safe zone again. And I can even take it off again. But this is dangerous as fuck. It looks like a bit of a head and shoulders on the top though. But this is dangerous as fuck. This is not the reason I set up this channel. This is not the reason why I wanted to do it. It's, this is stupid. But you see like the shoulder, the head, and the shoulder potentially forming. But nah, this is stupid as fuck. I'm probably gonna blow up. It started so well as well. But I, I still believe in the long-term thesis. I still believe this is a crap company. I still believe the news isn't that good. I just think I was in it way too early. Got emotional and, and got me head in it way too early. Like if it broke, if this stock broke down right now, I wouldn't be surprised. I'd be like, I thought so. But I'll be like, why did I put myself through that terrible pain of being early? You need to make a rule to like not short on nine o'clock at least. So imagine taking a starter at 3.40 and then shorting that fall. You've got a much better chance of making money then. But its initial strength is not there. Its crazy run before is not. It's not as strong as it was unless it makes a crazy move all of a sudden now. Nah, may do. Oh, this could be a dump. See, you see how all the pressure is on the bid side now, where before all the pressure was on the ask? Seems like a lot more is going through on the bid than it is on the ask. Now, if it soaks up, then it soaks up. But like, if it drops, if, yeah, there's a big bid, 23,000. If it gets through that, which it looks like it's going to, you might see a bit of a big drop, and then it's a change in trend. Then it might wash and fade. And I've just been early again.
To me, it definitely looks weak, I like. But you never know when a big buyer, oof, that's a big short come through there. It's not at 10,000, oh, no, nah, it's dropping. It's gonna collapse, yeah. So close to collapsing. Uh, and then someone pushes it up, this is so manipulated. So it's so close to breaking the 330 and breaking down, and then the ramp it through 345. So manipulated, it's unbelievable. Piece of shit. Making everyone think it's gonna collapse, and then and then look at the bids on the three. It's just manipulated. It sucks. Nice to see this stuff and go back down to the threes. Ah, it doesn't know which way it wants to go. Like it's all over the place. One minute it's trying to break through three fifty. One minute it's trying to break through three thirty. I'm fucked. Like. should be out of this but now i'm just too i'm just too curious to see if this is the actual end because you've got that head and shoulders and i've just been too early if not whatever it's a learning experience for, for everyone i'm not bothered ah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh no. Six, seven. My God. New highs. No. This is called being at the mercy of a stock. It's hammered like it for me it seems close to the end. I've just been early to be honest, but we'll see. I could be wrong. Been wrong before, but be wrong again. Could be totally delusional, but the bit's getting hammered. Oh fuck me. So wrong. Not just a bit wrong, so wrong. God. Yeah, dude. I'm for sure I'm probably blowing up my account here. I'll just give up on it. Start again. Still had a profitable year. Still had a really good six months. But this was stupid. I should probably just salvage what's left. It's only going to go higher.
I think I should just cut this and keep what's left in the account so I can continue on another day. This is clearly going to go up further before it goes down. This is insane. I was showing the two fucking 55s, only 100 shares, but still. Imagine I was long. How good would that be? Imagine fucking Roland Wolf will be long. I'm out, took out by the broker. Blown up. <laughs> blown up. Blown up. No, no, I haven't blown up. What is it? No, no, I've still got about 100 bucks in. Nearly blew up, but the broker took us out just in case. Um, but uh, I can't believe I blew up on my first live stream. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What a fucking disaster! Maybe it's because I did do the live stream. Who knows? It's a good thing I got tucked out though. Oh, is it? Nah, but this I still think this will fail. Eh? It's I've been early. That's it. May as well hang on and see what happens. Oh, I can't believe I blew up on my first fucking live stream. As only that's what was it up? I was only up about two grand on the year anyway. Now I'm lost that I'm up one thousand four hundred. See what I made this year? So I put $620 in my account. I've still got 150, so I lost five, I lost 500 bucks there. So I lost $500 and today I lost $500, ish. Like, no, nah, I lost more, but I lost $500 of my own money. And well, let's see what me, and I was up for the year. One point eight k, so I'm now up for the year like one point three k. That was stupid. Thousand dollars up. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Uh, so I mean, I'll I'll not trade it tomorrow. There's no way. So I closed the year more than a thousand dollars up, and across six months, I closed the year like four grand, four grand up or something. I'll show you guys this screen. This is too depressing. Show you something else one sec. One sec. So so yeah, so I mean, made in the last, since this loss, this is old, I was actually, um, I made 450 bucks, so this is plus, this is, uh, this was like plus 300, this is an old version, so I was actually up two grand, and I've lost 500, 
So I made 1500 on the year, which I would have blocked. This is why I don't trade with a bigger account, because I would have fucking been down even more now. So I made, um, I'm plus 1500 on the year. Over the last six months, um, like say this is now a minus 250, that's down a thousand, that's up 3000, up 4000, up 3000, up four, still up 5k in the last six months or whatever, but you can look at statistics however you want. No matter what it's about, it's a sad day. It's a sad day. But the bottom line with this is the volume just went mental. Like me thinking it was a head and shoulders in the three. Could have been, but it's wishful thinking like. Uh, uh, the volume's so crazy now that it looks like it's gonna run, but uh, the volume's so crazy that it looks like it's gonna run, but it's such a shit company that it should fail. Like if I'd played it, it's, it's so, so much volume you don't really know what's going to happen now um i still think it'll fucking fail me even though i'm out like the the broker took us out i'm out but i still think it's going to fail um stop fighting the stock we never win at least i don't mm, I, I don't mean fighting it. yeah the, i mean my plan was to cut the 320s 330s and then i let it run into the four so it was stupid Better stop trading if you want a 2019 to be a green year. Yeah, I mean, look, it's a fucking, it's a $500 red month now because of that single trade on this single live stream, but still a green year, 1.5K. I'm not, and this is why I trade with a $600 account because I do stupid stuff. But it's still, like, as I, I've just run through with you, like up 5K or whatever in the last six months. Um, so just, and I've just proven to myself that I've, I've got to stick to a $600 account because I can't, I can't stick to a trade plan. And as that, and but providing I stick to a six hundred dollar account, I do have these runs where I can have a couple of thousand months. This, I still think this will fail, man. I don't even care about five million volume. The only thing is, is it's like unprecedented. It's like going to trade obviously more than ten million today. So it's the biggest volume day it's ever had. So fuck knows what's going to happen. But I still think it'll fail. I think it might. This might be the end of it. Yeah. I still think I'm just early. If if I if I'd logged in at nine twenty, I'd be putting a short in this now. It's gonna be so funny for people to watch this. Um, trade zero. Sava, I think has got another. Uh, Sava has got another green day. I think. I can't believe me first fucking I nearly blew up on me. I pretty much did blow up. I can't believe I blew up on me first fucking live stream. It's so bad. This will fail. I'm just early. Look at this. Swing for one big crack. Like if this goes to five, I'll jump off a building. I'm not even in it, but I'll jump off one anyway. I feel like I'm just too early again.
What a gap up for Sova. Yeah, I know. It's a, we'll fight another day. Be, well, at least I've set myself an easier target. I only need to beat 1,500 to, to <laughs> profitable year next year. It's now else going. It's crap day. I need to not drink, go running, lose weight, get a girlfriend, and be a better human being. See if I go for it. Oh, closed out at 390. Did I get closed out on? 391. Just curious to know if I get bought out at the top. But at, nah, you're looking at a spike in the 450s now, maybe. This thing is, do you know how many shorts? Like, trust me, guys, I'm not the only short in this. Do you know how many shorts have blown up the day? Because this happened like in 150%, it ah, doesn't happen every day. Eh? Made the same mistake I make every single time, short and early. Need to learn from that chase. Big time. I need to learn from that shit big time. So today I lost like six hundred dollars of my own money, but in total the loss was like eight hundred, which puts us like. Don't know how much down in the month. It's maybe I'm down like I don't know. But I should, I'm up. I'm not, I'm still definitely green for the year over a thousand. Uh, what initially drew us to trade to get over my ex girlfriend? That's where I look like it was supposed to drop its holding open. Yeah, be careful with that one. That looks like it might have a second green day. That is a fucking monster. Still waiting for the crack, could be waiting for the rest of my life, but keep lot shorts off. This could be the crack. This could be the crack just before the open. So typical. Some, uh, it looks like some shorts are starting to pound it. 
Nah, but it's then it rips through. It's like tricking. Another little trick. They got I just went through at 412. I don't know how I'll feel today. Probably it won't be very bad. I mean, it always sucks to lose money. Like, it sucks to lose, like, 600 bucks. But I'm pretty immune to it now. And if I look back at the year, like I say, it's like I've made more than I've lost in the year. So it's not like I'm, like, a suck I lose at a day trading. But does it suck? I mean, yeah, it always sucks. But it's it's more not following the plan that sucks rather than anything else. It's like I wasn't disciplined. Like that's that's what sucks. It's not like I can trade any smaller as well. Just gotta wash out the open. Whoever went long this, I want me money by. Six million pre Jesus. It's this should trade about 30 40 million on the day. Jesus fucking Christ. Short of the steam train. Shorts. I still think it's fundamentally it's a bad company, so I wouldn't be surprised to see big shorts hammering it now. And hammering it into the open, trying to force it down. Because I don't, I still don't see the news as great unless I misunderstand it. And I don't think the company's good. Loses money every year. We'll see though. If it rips to 200, 300 percent, then I'm wrong. And I've paid the price, and I'll fight another day. I will never long. Yeah, maybe. I'm I'm not trading for the rest of the day or the rest of the year. I'll be off tomorrow and then we'll start again in the new year and, and just aim for aim for just consistent green months. But I'm just curious to see what happens with this. But like this is why I'm glad I've got a small account as well, because I like I'm like fine I lost six hundred bucks, but like I got punished for a bad trading error. Like, if I had a 20 grand account, like, you'd be down, you'd be down 600, but I'd be like, well, whatever, I'll just short the spike as well, big. And then you'll probably get away with it. And you'll probably make five or 600 if this spikes and fails. I just watch us at the open. You'll get away with it, but I don't want to be, I'd rather, I'd rather suffer and have to add another $400 to my account. So I think it's, I've probably got 150 bucks in my account. So, well, I'll have to add an extra $500, $450 to my account and physically pay. Um, I used to do it, not anymore, not anymore. I, I have a full-time job, it's too, I'm like working non-stop. Second red day on red. Our market's gonna open, so let's see what happens here, I'm curious. I'm saying this is a, piece of shit being manipulated and pushed up. Let's see what the market says at 9.30 and 15 seconds. But I've been wrong before and I'll be wrong again. It's gotta be a wash. If it's not a wash, I'm just gonna quit trading. Or if a spike and fail or a wash, then I quit trading because I don't know anything. It's 
stocks the trade did not just quit. There you go. So it's live streaming and stocks the trade at the same time is heavy. Should catch up. We max like on fire. Yeah, I can't handle this. One sec. Let's reload this. So it was in the full 50s. I still think spike and fail. Let's see. Let's just reboot this shit because can't handle everything in the Mac. Lord, motherfucker. Oh, my God, I would have blown up so bad. Still think it's coming down. It's luck. Big wicks. He has the big red candle. He has the big wash. If it doesn't come, then it might run, boss. This this should be, yep, there it is. He has the dump. How big's the dump's the question. Probably down to the fours and then it'll have another go. No, it's got a wig on it. It's, it's Jesus Christ. Lesson is really like don't short at like the nine o'clock ish, and then at least you fucking start three fifty, build into the fours, and then put all your size in it in the four fifties, and then if it makes high day, you're out. Probably have an average of about four forty, be a little bit down right now. I'm surprised that last candle wasn't the wash. If it manages to hold, it's obviously if it soaks the bid here, it's obviously got another level to go higher. It's kind of soaking so far, so you should expect a big push out in Norway. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why don't I show the spikes in Dawn Trade Free Market, Stephen? Could have been in from the 460s. Cut higher day. This looks like it, uh, it's looking more weak than strong. The volume's so crazy, anything can happen. Definitely looks more weak than strong. Oh, is this the crack? Oof. Wow, no fucking way. Nah, can it be? Nah, it's not. This has got to be the wash. There you go. Boom. Big, 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 bigger. It's getting bought up. Wow. Let's go full screen for you guys. It's four red candles in a row. It's trying to it's trying to bounce, but 
if it's not having an easy job. But it, <sighs> struggling, struggling to rip up like. Uh, it looks like it's going to wash big time to me. I just wish I'd shorted fucking ninth, the, the morning spike and I didn't like a spacker. I mean, imagine your entry is 450 and you're going to, you're going to get, if this comes all the way down, you're going to get, you're going to get at least a dollar on that job. This does wash, it's the same. I mean, you've got the potential of a double bottom from the 410s, 415s. But uh, it could crack really bad any sec. Like, I'm talking like a, a 50 cent drop. Any second. Bit so heavy. But it like it feels manipulated to me the way it's like just about it like crack just about crack then someone rips it up. I wish I'd went to town with me mom today so I didn't lose this money. Said I had the bright idea of live streaming early. Stupid. This has got to crack any second to me unless it's like super manipulated. It's got to crack. Look at it. the bit is so heavy. Like by heavy, I mean it's getting hit. It's got a crack. It's gonna go at least down to VWAP. Come on. There you go. Come on, guys, give the fuck up. It's a shit company. It's stupid news. Give up. <laughs> Thank you, Razor. Fucking, it also makes you fast. Like, it's done. You're done. You're done. Mate, get down. You're done. You're done. We're just waiting for the big crack now. Longs are doing what I was doing when I short and hold on. I fucking knew this was a piece of shit. I knew I should have. It's fucking just early. Same problem I've had for the entire life. Early trading, pre-market trading. But it's fucking, look at the charts. It's a terrible company. It wasn't, it was in the 12,000s because they've done so many reverse splits. It wasn't ever, now it was in the 12s and it's now down to the fucking twos. It's that, and the press release looks like bullshit. Like, the fucking paid someone to ramp it all the way up, squeeze short, so they squeeze it all the way up. And then it'll just get, for me, it'll just get sold all day. And it'll crack any second. Got to short the spikes. Got to short the, the morning spikes. Don't get in pre-market. It's the number one rule. Or get in, like, a third pre-market. Don't be fucking trying to find the top. It's stupid. I still don't see this fucking going. It's too weak. If this runs, I'm throwing my computer off the lap, off the wall. I haven't even got money in it. I'd, I'd just be so mad. Oh, 
hope every long goes to hell. And that includes Roland, I'm sorry. I don't really mean Roland, but probably fucking long this shit. Fail, motherfucker. There you go. Who's laughing now? Well, not me, because I blow up me account, but what long's I laughing now, you cunts? By the way, Tim Sykes doesn't teach any of the things that I did that made us blow up my account, just saying. But he did help us get profitable. There you go. Look, you see those big orders at 425? You see that 31,000 order? That's manipulation. Look at that. There's the crack. Fuck everyone. <laughs> It's 385. 383. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Three eighty. This could even fucking halt. No bounce whatsoever because it's too weak. Be in the three seventy shortly. If I'd shorted the spike, I would have been 440 to 360. Ugh. 370's coming. It's not even bouncing. It's weak as shit. Oh, my God. Sometimes you'll get a delayed bounce. It might, yeah, it's popping a bit, but ultimately, that's not strong enough. It needs to get through VWAP, and it needs... For this to turn around, it's impossible. Best case, it's in the three night. It'll get back to the fours, but it's got that resistance and it's got the whole dollar and it's just got to get through VWAP and it's just made a big drop and it's not reacting fast enough. It's coming back down. So will be a bounce before another big red candle. There's the wick on the bounce starting to fail. It's failed VWAP. We'll see the 80s, the 70s, and the 60s in a second. Here's the 80s. Come on, Long, stop being pathetic. You know you've lost. I've lost, and now you've lost. And only the people with the big accounts win. He has the next crack, 82, 76. Oh, bit of support there. Testing the 70s, 60s coming. 73s on the bid. 71s, 65. Oh, my God, kill me. Yeah, I mean, it was inevitable that this thing would, this thing would be might end up, but it'll end up in the threes um, by the end of the day, probably. You'll see it back in the threes. I think it's it's manipulation pushing it all the way up. And then the insider share, people have just sold into all of this. Now all of the longs are fucked because it's actually a shit company. And I, don't, I still, and I knew the news wasn't very good. And it's just going to come all the way back down to like threes and give it all back. 
fucking shorts got fucked on the way up, longs got fucked at the open. It's just pure manipulation and it's a joke. But uh, look at this, going to the 50s now. See, if I'd had a big account and I'd gone fully in, I would have made about $1,000 and been like, oh, look how good I am. But the reality is, it's not it's not good trading. I should have the discipline to recognize that the volume's quite heavy at the start. Think the volume's too heavy right now. Let's just wait for the open. Short the spike into the open. You've got from the 470s to the 360s, that's like 20% trade. You can be out now and not worrying anymore. But, uh, okay, hope you guys liked it. Fucking blew up on me first live stream. But, uh, I mean, it's a good lesson. I'd rather it happened at the end of the year rather than the start of the year, and it's not like a big blow up. It's like, blew up with six, well, still got money in the account. I think I blew up like 500 bucks. Still up, up on the year, up on the last six months quite a bit. So uh, for sure, 100% will be back, but I'll be back doing live streams from 8.30. So I don't, and, uh, and I'll be trying not to trade till 8.45, 9, to avoid um, making fuck-ups like this again, because ultimately, if I'd got in this at like 8.45, and it's just a, it's just a timing thing, if I'd got in this at like 8.45, You're talking, uh, being in at the threes is still terrible, like 350, and then I went to 450, I can't, even building then, I can't really risk that. I think I need to be trading, I think I need to be trading from like 915, and then at least 915 if I get a small position in the fours, third size, and then go full size into the spike, then yeah, then you're going to, you're going to have a, a four and short into the spike, maybe I'm shorting 420. Probably have a 430 average and then anything on the way down is profit. Peace and love. Hope this makes history. Just being transparent and out there. Peace.